Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freyho for Liaison to ACIP, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Welcome to our ACP Adult Immunization 2020 Update. The topic, a review of changes for the 2020 adult schedule published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. The schedule provides helpful guidance. It also has monetary implications. Under ACA, the Affordable Care Act, vaccine recommendations listed on the schedule must be covered by health insurance plans with no cost sharing. That means first dollar coverage, no deductible. The biggest conceptual change for 2020 is ACIP's new option for recommendations, shared clinical decision-making. It applies to an individual patient. And since benefit is limited to individuals rather than large populations, these types of recommendations are unlikely to be prioritized by immunization programs. The schedule begins with a convenient list of vaccines along with abbreviations, brand names, and a link to complete ACIP recommendations. Tables are next. Table one lists vaccines by name and abbreviation and recommendations by four age groups. Table two organizes recommendations by medical condition and other indications. Vaccines are not listed in alphabetical order, but the order is the same on both tables. HPV has been condensed to one row. Recommendations for males and females are now the same. The color code palette has added blue for the new shared clinical decision-making option. Yellow still means recommended for adults who meet age requirement, lack documentation of vaccination, or lack evidence of past infection. Purple means recommended for adults with an additional risk factor or another indication. Orange means precaution. Vaccine might be indicated if benefit of protection outweighs risk of adverse reaction. Pink signifies delay until after pregnancy if vaccine is indicated. Red means not recommended, contraindicated. Vaccine should not be administered. Gray means no recommendation or not applicable. Please note, no recommendation does not mean not recommended. Vaccines not recommended are color-coded red. Here's a rundown of 2020 changes for various vaccines. For tetanus booster, there's more flexibility. Tdap may be used anytime TD is indicated. For hep A, living with HIV is now an indication. Persons with clotting factor disorders have been removed from the list. Table one has new blue bars indicating shared clinical decision-making for HPV, PCV13, and MenB vaccination. For HPV, vaccination is now recommended for all persons through age 26, no gender differences. Two to three doses, depending on age and initial vaccination. That's in yellow. The blue bar for HPV means shared clinical decision-making for those aged 27 to 45. For pneumococcal vaccination, PPSV23 is still recommended for everyone 65 and older, so it's in yellow. But PCV13 for immunocompetent seniors is now code blue, indicating shared clinical decision-making for those 65 and older. Shared clinical decision-making also applies to MenB vaccination for those 19 through 23. It's also blue. Also new for MenB, boosters for those still at risk. Immunity drops a few years after the initial series. That's why a one-year MenB booster is recommended for those with complement deficiency, complement inhibitor use, asplenia, including sickle cell, and for microbiologists still at risk. Give an additional MenB dose every two to three years. These and more details can be found in the notes section for each vaccine, which are listed in alphabetical order. Vaccine notes have been tweaked and reorganized with subheadings for routine vaccination, shared clinical decision-making, and special situations. They're a helpful guide, but they're notes. They're short and sweet, but not complete. No worries, comprehensive ACIP recommendation statements are only a mouse click away. So there you have it, an overview of the ACIP Adult Immunization Schedule for 2020, published in Annals. For the American College of Physicians, happy vaccinating. I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.